Welcome to the California Office of Emergency Services in Mather. Inside this building, Cal OES is leading another massive emergency response operation, this time for the devastating wildfires. There are thousands of people and resources coming together, working together, and I'm gonna take you inside to get a behind the scenes look at what many people rarely see. Why does this building matter? Let me show you. It's a quick walk from the lobby inside to the state's emergency operations center. This is ground zero for the dozens of state, federal, and private sector resources coming together, managing everything from firefighting to law enforcement mutual aid that go into not only putting out the flames, but will last long after the flames are out. Just behind me, there are hundreds of people working on the state's response from all the state agencies and departments to support our local governments and to support the communities that have been impacted uh, in addition to what's happening at the local level. The response to these fires is so wide ranging from state and local levels to the private sector all the way up to the federal level, support even coming from the White House. And just across the hall from the State Operations Center, FEMA has brought in a team of people, just the beginning for a long-term effort. Multiple years for an event like this. Uh, the, the recovery is uh, gonna take uh, a lot of effort. It's gonna take everyone in the whole community to participate, not only federal government, state government, local government, but private business, nonprofits, and individuals. And it, it's, a, uh, it's a complex, uh, effort and an event uh, of this, this catastrophic in order to rebuild, uh, but bringing all those resources together and working together will help put us in uh, the direction to do that. There are now over 8,000 firefighters on the front lines, more than 600 law enforcement officers, and more and more people and resources arriving daily. Mutual aid now coming in from our neighboring states of Nevada, Oregon, Idaho, Washington, Montana, New Mexico, Arizona, North and South Carolina, and some internationally from as far away as Australia. And coordinating all of this is a massive effort, and it's happening right here in the State Operations Center. It's not just CAL FIRE, it's our federal firefighting partners at the Forest Service and others, and it's the almost 1,000 local government fire departments across California. And, and now, in this case, we've engaged uh, many, many other states and have actually gone internationally. All of that takes just a great deal of coordination. And while the incidents are managed out there on the ground, locally where it's going, they're managing the strategies and tactics as to how these are going to get mitigated. You roll all of that up then and have to coordinate the big picture in a place here like the State Operations Center. We're not dictating to the incidents how they manage and how they put this fire out, but we are getting them the resources they need and supporting what they need to do that and also helping them, uh, helping us set priorities. For the very latest on the California wildfires, be sure to first monitor your local law enforcement agencies. You can also monitor all of our social media feeds at Cal OES and OESnews.com. For all of us at Cal OES, I'm Brian May. Visit our online newsroom at oesnews.com to learn more about this program and get the latest news and information from our team. Don't miss our next video on your Facebook timeline. Like our page and you'll get the latest posts as they happen. If you're an Instagram user, you can see the latest snapshots by following our Cal OES Instagram account. And Twitter users can get instant access to our tweets from across the state by following Cal OES.